in 2005, when we first launched Iconix, we really did find our stride and find our niche. For a long time, we were known for very high power, high output point source loudspeakers. That focus on control is something that also helped us lean into our, our column technology because you know the steerable columns are all about control as well. Uh, and it really has shaped us over the last you know 17 years, turning us into the company that we are today. So Iconix has, has really taken us from one place and really shaped the, the future of our company in a way that is hard to ignore because now we have you know five different product categories that are digitally steerable. And with the release of the PCX, we now have some passively steered columns as well using some of that technology. There was a lot of feedback after we discontinued one of our past uh, passive columns. The feedback was kind of resounding that we need something in that category. We couldn't compete really on the lowest price because that's just not the way that we're set up. So we knew we had to do something that would rely on some of our strengths. We thought about what we could do and we came up with the passive Unibeam technology, which is really the key differentiator uh, above any and all other passive columns that, that make it the, the problem solver and the future success that we know it's gonna be. The passive Unibeam essentially is an implementation of our Unibeam algorithm that we use in our digitally beam steered products, which essentially to put it simply is a progressive delay. So every driver has progressive amounts of delay and progressive amounts of amplitude shading, uh, which delivers then an asymmetrical vertical lobe, which delivers beautifully precise front to back coverage while reducing any gradient and side lobe uh, artifacts. And so we took all of the math that makes the Unibeam work and figured out a way to implement that in the passive domain using a passive filter network that instead of addressing each transducer with an amplifier and DSP channel, we address each transducer in the array with a very specially designed passive filter that does the time domain and amplitude domain changes necessary uh, to generate the, the Unibeam in the passive domain. Being easy to, to work with and look good and sound good is one of the tools that helps sell the job, but ultimately if you can help an integrator save time and money on a job, they're likely to use your products in the future because they can make more money with them. And with the PCX series, because the loudspeaker is flush mounted on the wall, uh, because of its inherent weather rating, it's, it's salt and chlorine resistance, we make sure that it's very easy to use and you can install it anywhere and and without having to use any complicated pan and tilt mounts it's just put it on the wall drop it on the mount and you're essentially done that took a lot of resources over the last two years to develop and, and we are incredibly excited to, to have it out now we do have some plans in the roadmap to increase the PCX range, probably into higher output territories, but featuring the same passive Unibeam technology that, that will help make it the best problem solver it can be. But that's, that's something that I can't talk too much about just yet, but there are some, some future plans for, for PCX expansion.